Hi guys, Shelly here from Whiskey and Sunshine Off Grid. Thanks for stopping by. I'm going to talk about our food saver today and some of the things that I really like about it. It can definitely help you with your food storage, especially if you have, if you store in buckets or or however you store your stuff. If you want to do it in bags and pull all that air out of it, um, it definitely cuts down in your waste as far as things going bad. So with that, I think we're just going to get started and I'm going to show you some features of the food saver. Okay, so this food saver is a V3230. Um, again, I don't think that you can find this brand at um, in the store anymore. Um, I like this. It's not the flat ones that you can buy, um, but this is a tall one that's got the storage in the top. It gives you how to do your plastic. You put your bags inside this roll part. Um, see if I can show you in there. See, it's like it's contoured. Sorry about that. Move everything. And so you put your bag in there. Of course, these are oversized because I buy the big bulk bags, but um, they, it, normally it would fit in there and the lid would close. But you take your set you down there we go you take your um, this is your cutter and it moves and take your bag put it underneath there make however long your bag is and then run your cutter along there it's like a paper cutter and then you take it out and there's your bag it's pretty simple with that um, but again, these bags don't fit, but that's okay. I don't care because I like to buy the bags in bulk. That's just how that is. Okay, here's all your buttons. Now, this is the part that I really like about this. The, pad, the part that it has the storage in here. So when I take this machine out, it has my bags already in it, my cutter in it, and it's got certain buttons on here that I really like. So the buttons that I really like, let's see if I can get in closer here so you guys can read them. Don't mind the dirt if it's dirty. It's been used. <laughs> okay, hopefully you guys can see those okay. So this is your speed button and it says normal and gentle. Now when I'm going to do like um, hamburger or something that isn't wet wet I leave it on normal and that takes right off you put your bag in there to seal it and it sucks the air right out of it and it will um, it goes right into high speed and it just sucks it right out no problem the gentle is what I really like on this that you have the two speeds so gentle I use more for my powdered stuff and my moist things um, you know, steak that's got a lot of juice in it or um, uh, uh, spaghetti sauce, things like that. You want it, you want it on gentle so it does just all try to suck it all out all at once. It goes very slow and it's a slow um, air pulling motion and I really like that in this food saver. Um, the food part, I also like this. It gives you dry and it gives you moist. So you can change these however you need to. Um, your moist, I tend to use for, again, you know, your, your wet, soggy stuff, your, um, why well, I can't remember the name of spaghetti sauce, I don't know, but marinara sauce, I used that button a lot in the gentle. Uh, when I when I did my marinara sauce for the freezer and I did it in bags um, Your dry I use for my powder my sugar uh, Self kind of self-explanatory, but that's why I like those um, Those are my two favorite buttons when I'm doing different things with this so um, the other thing that I really like let's see if I can slide you down here so you can see it and it's kind of wearing off, but that's that says accessory port. And that is for these. These are jar sealers, 
as you can see on the picture, if you have a jar that you want to seal with just by sucking the air out of it, this has all your stuff inside that you need to do that. So this is the regular size jar lid. And then I also have the wide mouth. And see that's got some almonds or something. Oh, there's a glare, sorry. That's got some almonds in there and they're sucking the air out. And it says it works with um, Food Saver Heat Seal Vacuum Sealing Systems. So um, these are really, really good and they work really well. Um, I'm just gonna take this out. Let me pull you out just a little bit so you can see what I'm talking about. So when you open this box, it's already been opened obviously, it comes with this hose and these two adapters. And you stick one in your port and you stick one. This is what this looks like. You put that one in there. There's no, I don't think there's any specific side it has to go on. I think it's either one. Either, either this end can go in here and this, you know, vice versa. But you just want to get it in there nice and tight. Put it in both things nice and tight. Anyway, you put that right on the top. Slide it right over the top of your jar. Seal the air, uh, pull the air out and the lid will pop in just like um, your lids when you're canning. And it just sucks all the air out of it, basically is what it does. And when you want to open it, you have to pop the lid like you would if you were canning. And as you can see right now, it's full of air. They puff that up with air, which is not good for those because it makes them degrade a lot faster. So we want to take the air out of those and put them in here. And we're going to put our oxygen absorber in. I'm just going to put in one. And put our little thing on there and put our lid on. I'm going to try to do it nice and straight. And we're going to push vacuum and seal. Can you see that? Yes. Right here it says vacuum and seal. I'm going to stop it for a second and I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to pull this off. I don't know if you could hear that air. I'm going to pull this off. And I don't know if it's a done or not. I really don't know. But this is sucked down. Probably could go a little bit more. But I'm going to show you, before I actually seal it for goodsies, um, what it sounds like. So, as you can see, this is sealed down. When you push it, it doesn't pop like a normal one would. So I'm going to stick my nails in underneath. Oh, that's on there. Good. I didn't bring my... There we go. Did you hear that? That was quite the suction. So it does work and it pulls that out of there as the oxygen gets pulled out and it's then it has what's left is nitrogen which is good it helps it stay um, fresher it's good for it and it holds the nutrients that are in there because there are nutrients this is good protein and there's nutrients in these walnuts um, so you want to keep that in there and not let them get soggy and moist and moldy. Uh, you want to keep them nice and crisp. And I'm going to put the date on these and I'm going to try to remember, oh, I don't know, in a few months, I'm going to try to pull it out, open them up, and we're going to see how they, how crunchy they are. All right, so this time I'm going to seal them for good. All right, so take that out and pull that straight up as best you can. Just kind of give it a wiggle. And again, it's sucked down in. So let's hope that the air is out of that 
at least it's helped it and the oxygen absorber is going to take the rest out of it for me um, or at least a good chunk of it so I am going to put this back on but I'm not going to put it on tight just going to put it on there in case I you know need to open it and leave it open at least I have something to hold that the flat lid down so those are done okay so the other thing I like about this is it has this nice pop-up door hold stands up this is where you put your bags to seal them and to vacuum seal them so it has a little catch um, I don't know cup I guess you'd call it and it's you if you have anything that's wet um, or even powdery it will as it's sucking it will go in here instead of all inside all the parts and pieces so you can just take that out and rinse it out clean it and then you can pop it right back in and it's ready to go again and I try to make sure these seals are nice and clean because sometimes it does not seal very well but I find that this paper and I don't know if I can show you one side has bumps on it I don't know if you can see that the other side is shiny so it's it's slick and then this side has all the bumpies on it this tends to like it this machine tends to like it with the bumps up for some reason not so much does it care when I see it when I heat seal the end which is what I'm gonna do right now so you put that in and you just make sure that you have your little sealing pad is like right here so you want to make sure you go just beyond that and you close your lid hold that down and then you have to turn your your little latch over here down and it locks it and then you hit seal so all it's going to do is seal that bag for you and see the little red light so that tells you it's sealing and then when that goes out it means that it's done sealing your bag for you and it's out so then you lift up your latch again lift this up and then you've got a nice nice little seal on there all the way across works pretty good your powdered your granulated your light brown sugar your dark brown sugar do not do not use oxygen absorbers for those at all that will make them clump and they'll be a nice hard ball if you use oxygen absorber with it which I didn't realize so I think in one of my other videos when I was doing um, my sugar I think I did put an oxygen absorber in it but in reading recently it says do not But the, the good thing about this is it sucks the air right out anyway. All right, so I just dumped the brown sugar in. It's labeled, and I'm gonna stick it back in the machine, and I'm gonna close my lid, and I'm going to la put the latch down. So then what I do is I take this and I flatten it out. I want it flat. I don't want a big ball or a big clump. And that's, see how that's all puffed up? that's going to come out so we're going to put it on gentle because we don't want it to suck all that stuff out um, it's not really moist so we're just going to keep it on the dry setting and we're going to do vacuum and it's going to pull all the air out and when it feels like it's got all the air out of it it's going to seal it automatically and the light went out so did you see it vacuum sealed on this one and the, it was red and then it turned to red over here and then green over here and so it tells you what it's doing at the time anyway so there's my seal line right there it's all nice and sealed up I can see that it's sealed up and then this thing is hard hard as a rock so that's sealed up very nicely the air's out so that should keep really really well okay guys so i hope you found this helpful um, those are the things that i like about my food saver 
and I hope you uh, got some good information out of that. So like, share, subscribe, and we will see you next time. Have a good one.